Hi guys! Today is the day later. <laughs> I am very hyped and excited because I'm going to be trying to print more of my artworks with this printer. So this I printed out yesterday. It turns out so nice and crisp. I am very impressed. I mean, I am no expert when it comes to printing. So yeah, to my bare eyes, it looks like what I wanted. <laughs> Although I can see that um, the colors are not quite right as I like as I would have liked. It's a bit darker here, so I would need to adjust a little bit of the brightness and the contrast when I print them out before you know I export them to print. But yeah, I otherwise I am um, pretty happy, and yeah, I guess I just need to get used to um, the printing setups and just play around with it for a bit. But otherwise. I'll show you what I got. The Canon Pixma printer IX6850. I just wanted to get a very reliable printer where I can basically print all my documents and artworks as well because you know I've been starting to draw a lot lately and I wanted to make something like this like some art prints so that I can hang it on the wall or to gift or also the uh, greeting cards that I can send to my family and friends. Yeah, <laughs> so I think this printer is good for um, serving that purpose. And also I got a few different types of papers. This is just a normal A4 paper. Though I had no idea about the grams per square meter. So I got this in the 60 grams and this is very thin. <laughs> I did not know, so the next time I buy them, this will be thicker, but it's a learning process. <laughs> and then I got here the photo print, uh, photo paper from Canon. Basically, I got all my uh, thick papers from Canon because I thought it's better to just use the same brand, especially when I'm just trying out in the beginning and I just don't want to use some wrong paper and get it jammed in the printer or something gets broken, you know? Um, so this is in 260, but um, I did not know that there's gonna be some watermarks in the behind. I wanted to use them for making some um, like greeting cards, but yeah, watermarks first of all, and it's thinner than I thought. So I think I'll use them mainly for printing some um, photos later. And this came together with a printer when I bought them, glossy paper, and then this I'm very happy with. It's 170 grams, matte photo paper from Canon as well, and I printed this paper, um, this art out of this paper. And yeah, it's very nice matte finish, and uh, yeah, it has a lot of the pages, so this will be my go-to paper, I think. <laughs> I am still waiting for two more papers though. I ordered the the same brand um, matte paper that's 270. So that will be maybe more suitable for making cards. And I also ordered the uh, sticker paper so that I can make my own stickers for my journal. So I'm very excited. <laughs> and right now I'm going to be get going and print more of these things and try them out. <music> this illustration because I thought this is very colorful and vibrant. Now I'm going to cut these into smaller sizes.
and obviously they are not as say crisp as if you get them printed professionally i suppose but for producing them at home i think this is pretty neat the room is such a big mess now so i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and maybe organize it a little better So I just wanted to drop in and say thank you for joining me today and watching this vlog. I hope that you are doing great in your part of the world and that you are staying safe. When I began YouTube about 6 months ago, I had no idea that I will be continuing to post videos here for 6 months. I find it so crazy. And well, I'm so proud of myself that I kept on posting every week. It's been a big dedication and well being consistent is something that i'm often struggling with so yeah <laughs> and to be honest when i began youtube well i had no idea that i would be posting so regularly and i also didn't know which direction this channel would take on so in the beginning i was not really drawing <laughs> i was not drawing at all actually i only started to draw digitally uh, because I got the iPad and I just fell in love with it. I just enjoyed to draw and spend my time drawing and doing more artsy stuff. And then I started to see more YouTubers and uh, videos, some more contents regarding art. And I kept on continuing with that. <laughs> and here I am and here we are. Um, this week I got my first printer that I would be using mostly for art prints. I am not sure if I can even sell it, but it's something that I've been wanting to do and try out and just to see how it goes as, as I go. So yeah, I am very excited about this new addition to uh, the studio. Um, like before, I would be making vlogs, sharing bobs and pieces of my life, but I never called my vlog studio vlog, even though I draw a lot in them. And now that I have a printer, I finally feel like I have the, I don't know, I, I have the right <laughs> to call it a studio vlog. I hope that I can incorporate more contents like this where I draw, I uh, print out stuff, I send out some goodies for some friends and yeah. I'm very excited to do the process of doing that and also it's so exciting and so fascinating to me that now I am finally like touching my illustrations while having them in my hand. So that is really thrilling experience. You know, producing from the scratch, from drawing, from the sketch to drawing and coloring to printing it and cutting, it just feels like a whole another level of experience. <laughs>